hello everyone this is asmr today welcoming you to my new photoshop tutorial and today i'll show you uh, just you know that uh, what i'm going to show you that means uh, the typography the uh, cutout so let's start the tutorial before we start my tutorial i want to say one thing please do subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon for the new notifications so go to the file and take a new options and at first i'll take a new canvas or artboard whatever you can tell 2560 and 1440 this one and 200 pixel per inch resolution and the rgb color mode and hit the create button you'll get the new artboard with the blank or white color so after that go to the file and place embedded options and here i downloaded some photos download link in my video description place this one you'll make this one bigger like that so position with the artboard and hit the tick button and after that right press and restylize that layer if you want to use this layer in future so you have to make it right press and convert to smart object select this layer and press ctrl r r for the ruler here and here take the ruler and find out the middle point of the face and you can adjust the face with that like this yeah this one that's good and after that go to the shape tool and take the rectangle and just make a rectangle like that but what will the color and select the color the same to same and hit the ok button and then just keep the ruler back and now this one our the shape rectangle and now we'll write down something take a new blank layer and go to the text tool and write something like that so cover up the full canvas like that i have demo text and i'll take this one press ctrl c and you can write down your own text over here and the color will be text color will be white and if you want to change the font here is the font option you can change it like your yeah like that that's good and the auto should be like that that's good or uh, yeah you can make it bigger 60 is pretty good you can make it bigger like this yeah that's cool and you can change the just space between two lines make it smaller like that yeah that's good and you can just copy another lines ctrl c and ctrl v okay you can just check out the space between like that so one thing the important thing is that fulfill this portion the upper portion and the lower portion you can use the move tool to fulfill this one so after that just turn off this one press the control or command button when you are getting the dotted box please select over there and select the rectangle one right press and restylize layer and press the delete button press ctrl d yeah that's good yeah you can use it your own purpose so if you want to change the color blending options go to the blending options and color overlay options and select the color here here or here the, yeah take the uh, color which is like that it okay you can adjust this one if you want like this you can fulfill the full image like that or press ctrl t you can adjust with that so it's totally up to you how you will use that so you can use easily so i think we are just like that here and here adjust this one like this so 
let's try another one go to the new options and take 25 60 14 40 and hit the create button and go to the file and place embedded uh, here is another portrait i will give that download link in my video description so this one is a white one we will try i just place in the middle of this so right press restylize layer and then press ctrl r for the ruler and just find out the middle point so after that go to the rectangle tool and take the rectangle like that and take the rectangle color full white and hit the ok button and after that go to the text tool or you can take the new layer and go to the text tool and just draw the area which where you want to write down so here is my demo text you can choose your own demo text and make the text color black and press ctrl v and you can control the font like this so here is the options the character go to the window and character options you can get that so the gap between the lines you can adjust like that so yeah i think i need more space about that so that's good and hit the tick button and just select and place this one like like that so that's good and hit the tick button and turn off this one select the control button and hold it press the control button and hold it or command button when you're getting the dots square dots over there just click and then the rectangle right press and restylize layer and press the delete button Ctrl D. okay you are getting like that so if you need or if you want you can add the gradient like that so i'm adding the gradient the radial options 350 and dither zero degree okay if you want you can use the photo filter like wormy color or other things like that so I think this one is the cool color yeah and hit the ok button if you want you can need you use the levels and just this one like that if you need you can use that so yeah that's good so thank you so much thanks for watching my video as well if you have any kind of question query request please do comment on my video comment section and until the next video i may say what is sending out today and bye-bye.